so Dupree, I will start with the Vertigo game. You guys lost uh, Vertigo to Liquid three months ago. Uh, what changed since then? Do you think uh, the Vertigo, Astralis Vertigo, is stronger right now? I definitely think it's a strong one for us right now, but I think what has changed the most is probably the map getting changed, and also that you we have a little bit more options as counter terrorists, and I think that was probably one of the main reasons why we didn't play it so well. So I'm just happy that we have found out and figured out what to do, and yeah, we just feel confident on the, on the map right now, so uh, that's that's pretty good. And then you guys played Overpass, uh, Liquid is one of the best teams in the world on Overpass, or the best team in the world. You guys are down in the halftime, 6-9, if, uh, uh, if I recall correctly. How do you guys uh, come back to the terrorist side and manage to win the game? I think everything just starts with believing that you can still win, even though you have to get like 10 rounds as terrorists to actually win the game, because you only got six on, on, on the CT side. We could have played better at CT. There were some rounds we could definitely have won, and I think if we would have, we would have, we would have went by even a bigger margin. Um, but they play well. I mean, we had some struggles in, in the beginning of, 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 of the side, and especially as counter terrorists, but... Eventually, it's just about believing, getting the right rounds, actually just playing well and actually doing things together. So I'm just proud that we kept our composure and actually kept playing as we have done in practice. So that's really good. And everyone was expecting this game, like the biggest game, the tournament. People are saying Liquid, uh, we're going to win the tournament. Uh, this give like uh, extra enjoyable. This victory is most enjoyable because of that. It's really great. I mean, I really wanted to deny Liquid winning a major because that's like the one thing they, they still want to win. We've both won Grand Slams and they've, we've both played extremely well both years. So I think they really wanted to win a major. And, and knowing that it's, it's going to be another six months at least before they can try again is really, really nice. But I have a, a great amount of respect for the Liquid players. They've done extremely well and I have nothing against them as, as a person. Obviously, there's always the beef going on when you play as a professional against each other and, and they know that. I mean... There's nothing bad about it. I have a, a great respect and I know how heartbreaking it is for them to go out here, especially going in as a favorite. So, yeah, I just want to make sure that they know that they are definitely an amount of great players and they have been an amazing team for so long. Do you think that Astralis ended the Liquid era? I don't know. I mean, I, it's, it's hard. I mean, I, obviously, it's going to be hard for them. It's heartbreaking for them going out here, but I don't think it's going to knock them out. I mean, they, they definitely are still a great team with great individuals and playing extremely well at Strike. They've been a little bit off in this tournament, the same as we in, like, in the beginning. So it came down to the team making less mistakes, and that was us today. And uh, now talking about the next game, Energy. Uh, Zonik said on the, on the stage that you guys are going to teach them a lesson. Which lesson is that? Obviously, how to play Counter Strike in Europe. Uh, my last question is about the first semester. Uh, all the people are saying like blessed rallies and things like that. You guys are not playing uh, in another tournaments. Now uh, you, you have the chance to win the third major in a row, make history be the first team to do it. Uh, do you think if it's possible, if you guys win the major, it will be like a redemption arc for, for you guys and the community? I don't know. I mean, like, I really don't care what the community says when it comes to people calling us blast stylists and everything. I mean, like, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, like, people can say it, but it's whatever. It's their own thoughts. They've forgotten it in the next two months. I don't care. If you guys manage to win the, the tournament, what's the next goal for, for Astralis? Uh, how you guys uh, want to go down in history? I mean, uh, obviously, writing, like, doing another history here, winning three majors in a row and being the first one to win the most. Um, that's obviously what we want to aim for right now. But if we win this one, we still want to reclaim the best, I guess, the spot as the best team in the world. Um, so that's like what we're aiming for. That's what Astralis is for. We're here to win and we're here to be the best team in the world. Lembrando também que o Mais Esportes é patrocinado pela Betway, beleza? Então se você quiser apostar em jogos da LCK, Major de CSGO, CBLOL, LCS, por aí vai. Então se você tiver mais de 8 anos, já entra aí no link que tá na descrição desse vídeo e com esse link, além de estar tá ajudando aqui o Mais Esportes a continuar trazendo conteúdo, você também vai ter o seu saldo dobrado. E não se esqueça também de se inscrever aqui no nosso canal, deixa o like nesse vídeo, mete o dedo no like aí e também ativa aquele sininho para você ficar por dentro de tudo que rola no universo dos esportes.